NCAA championships continue in March as coverage of the NCAA Regional Hockey Championships begins on Friday, March 23rd. Make sure to catch all the action on ESPNU and for a preview of the NCAA Regional Hockey Championships, including the 2006 NCAA Men's Frozen Four. Go to NCAAsports.com. NCAAsports.com, the official online home for all 88 NCAA championships. Well, it is time now to fear the fro. That means one man, Ben Askren, had 174 pounds, the most dominant wrestler, perhaps, of these NCAA championships. Askren, he has been unchallenged so far, going up against Keith Gavin, the number two seed from Pittsburgh. Well, from the beginning, Askren has been clearly his championship to lose. Ladies and gentlemen, if it wasn't Keith for uh, Chris Pendleton, he'd be going for his fourth, probably. He lost twice as a freshman and a sophomore in the finals, and finally won last year, giving Missouri their first ever NCAA title. Ben Askren has only lost eight times in his collegiate career, seven of those to Chris Pendleton of Oklahoma State. Dave, you asked how dominant Askren is. Every top 10 ranked wrestler he faced, he's pinned. And how about what he said going to the last break? Come back and watch me win my second straight. It wasn't like, come back and see if I can do it. He has ultimate confidence that he will get the job done. And that was entering the tournament. That was coming into the tournament. The decision to the semi or quarterfinals, semifinals. But coming into the tournament, he can't get every tenth. Neutral! Neutral! Every top ten ranked wrestler. Neutral guy! Ben Askren enters this match on an 86 match winning streak. Ben Askren That's has won 86 in a row. In fact, when he took on Keith Gavin earlier this year in a tournament in Reno, he pinned him in two minutes and 16 seconds. And afterward, you could see him saying to Gavin, hey, thanks for the match. Thanks for coming at me because so many of Askren's opponents won't challenge him. Well, Keith Gavin will challenge him. He just, it was close. He will challenge him. He's a good kid that has a great, great chance here uh, to uh, give Askren a, all he wants. Number two seed. Making it all the way to the finals. He's at a workmanlike uh, competition here at the NCAA. He's pretty solid in all positions. Once again, we need the 165 pound place winner. So many guys are so afraid now, to put up bulletin board material. Askren's not afraid at all. In fact, he says flat out, I don't plan on being stopped. I don't plan on being beaten. And if that challenges my opponents, good. I want their best. There's, and there's two for Gavin. Two Inside for Gavin. trip. Very well done. He shifted his weight. Was able to catch Ben Askren for two points. Two one. What do you expect tonight? I mean, it's been a night of upsets. There hasn't been one match that hasn't been riveting one way or another. Even the technical fall at 141. Watch the knee. Aspen underneath now looks to the champion. either come out Still by the back guys. door or try to pop Keep one of the legs off to the side. Still made up. The referee for this match is Mike McCormick. Brian Smith, the head coach of Missouri, has done such a great job of building that program to a trophy program. They're going to finish in the top four. They're going to receive their first trophy ever in the history of the school. Gavin doing a nice job of just being very deliberate, not getting into any scrambles, something that Aspen can feed off of. Center, guy, center. Aspen describes his style as sort of funky. It's not traditional at all. He told ESPN News yesterday that he kind of developed that style out of desperation. He didn't feel like he was as strong or as quick as some of his opponents. Nice first period. With more on Ben Askren, here's Quinn Kessler. Dave, I asked him how his wrestling has developed in his senior year. He says he's more patient now. He used to get frustrated. He says he does not get frustrated as much, but he did admit it's hard to stay focused. In the semis, he admitted being bored out of his mind. He said, no way that kid could have taken me down if his life depended on it. Ben Askren, supremely confident, and he remains outspoken. Another escape for Aspen to tie the match at two. Riding time, no factor. And he can't say that about Gavin, because Gavin's already taking him down, and he's all over his head. Look at him work that head. He's got that knockdown thing going. It just shows you he has no respect. Stay on the 
yeah, from yeah, a standpoint yeah. of, I'm coming at you. I love He's it. not backing away from Askren at all. Look at that. Off the mat, stop neutral. He's got Askren's head in a position that he hasn't been in. The tie, how you control your opponent with the tie determines what kind of wrestling moves you can use. And Gavin doing a nice drive with the job with the tie, controlling Askren's head, that limits as limits Askren's offense. job is he doesn't want to stay too far away from him because he is he's got uh, Asker in a situation where his his hips are out his butt's out and not underneath him giving him no strength no power working that head doesn't reach too much keeps his hands in until contact or distance is close enough and that's a key you never want to reach otherwise your opponent can go under your arm and get to your body or legs what will be interesting is if he can keep this up from a standpoint of his energy Guys, is it my imagination, or is Askren more passive tonight than we've seen from him in the past? Center, I think he's surprised center, from the standpoint center. of how, how Gavin is working the head. I mean, I think he's, 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 he's kind of taken back. I also think Gavin has experience against Askren. He's been pinned by him twice this year, so he realizes there's certain things I shouldn't do. He's learned those lessons well. He's not bored out of his mind, Dave. <laughs> not at all. Not now. Not going into the final period. Tied at two. Going on her feet, guys. Randy Stoudemire, that Stoudemire, the head coach of Pittsburgh. Morning Green! Has to be in a situation. Askren warned for stalling. How about that? Is that a first in his career? First in his tournament. There's no control. control. There's no control. And this is where Aspen shines. This is an open up. There's no need for this green. move. Down this is four. pure Down athleticism three, green. by Ben Aspen. And there's your funk. Watch and, your knees. And, and, Watch and your knees. If he guys. wins, he Watch won with what brought him here. Feeling danger. Right here, right. Points three, green. won. There they are. Green. Green. So five, two, three two, points two, for seven, a near two, fall. Like seven, two, just like that. He brought the funk right there, boys. And that's how Ben Askren wrestles. He is dangerous. He gets five-point moves. He puts people on their backs, and he doesn't do it in the normal way. He does it his way, sometimes very unorthodox, as we just saw. Yeah, that stall warning might have just been a wake-up call for Ben Askren. And he's got the uh, cradle hooked up, but it really came off of the initiation of Gavin. Right, and Gavin tried to do that scrambled legs, and it cost him. Ben Askren 30 seconds away from his second championship. And by the way, if he wins, Missouri will take third place here. And they have never finished higher than 10th in first. their history. So this is a monumental feat for these Tiger fans. You good? Stay still. Right, and fans of Ben Askren. Again, a tribute to the head coach, Brian Smith, who has built this program. He had 18 wrestlers in the first year quit on him because they didn't want to do it his way. I think his way is the way Missouri wants to uh, to be. Well, that certainly has proven true. And that riding time now will tack on another point for Ben Askren, who will win again at 174. You can see his admiration, though, for Keith Gavin. Hey, thanks for not ducking me. A four-time finalist, two-time national champion, ends his college career. Ben Askren, passive through the first couple of periods, certainly not passive at the end. He deserves to take a bow. So Ben Askren, back-to-back -back champ, 
at 174. 